Hey guys, I'm W Bricks here, and today we're going to be looking at a haul from Crazy Bricks. So, if you don't know who Crazy Bricks is, they make, or should I say their main product, is something called Crazy Arms, which is essentially poseable arms that you can use on minifigs that makes them essentially able to create new positions with their arms. I mean, that's like their big thing. So, let me get it poured out. So, I got three badge bricks just because... They're pretty awesome. You can see they're kind of, I guess it's puff printing, you would call it. I don't really know exactly what you would call it. I think actually Eclipse Graphics printed them. But anyways, here is what we got. So let's have it focus. Here we are. So I don't exactly, I got this a few days ago and I took it out of its packaging, so I'll those binoculars are obviously not from them. But I know that I got this, but I think that I got these two freebies. I'll put them over to the side. So as you can see, let me zoom in. The freebies in this case are two skulls that you can put on minifigures. Uh, you can see one is clear. Let me get a pointer. Uh, pardon my delay. You could, here's the brown one, and here's a clear one, and I got this one. Uh, so I think these are the two freebies that I got with the order. Uh, so let's get into the rest of the stuff. So I got a lot of these arms. And so what you can see here is that these are Lego arms, or, you know, they're custom Lego arms, but they fit into the Lego armholes. Uh, let me just get all of them out so you can see them. Almost there. I, we're almost there. Promise. So, as you can see, these are all the Lego arms that I got in a variety of colors. Let me get a mini fig. I don't know where. I swear I had one already to use, but uh, here I can use this one. So, here we have a mini fig. Uh, let's put on something non shiny so it's not annoying. Okay, so here's our mini fig. I'm gonna take off his arm. I'm going to put the hand onto the crazy arm. There we are. And then I'm going to put it into the regular arm slot. And there you go. So as you can see, let's see if it'll focus. As you can see, the crazy arm is like, you know, it, it's opposable. So essentially what this type of arm, the one that he currently has, you would use it for, is either holding a gun against his body or maybe he was injured, so he's like falling backwards. That's what this is simulating. But essentially these arms just open up a lot of possibilities. Uh, I'll put in the other one so that you can see. It's essentially just one that would be pointing. Uh, I'm not gonna put in a hand, but you can see what it does, it's pointing. Uh, and I got the same stuff just in a bunch of different colors. So, you know, that is exciting. Uh, I think that these really offer a whole nother layer that you go into, that you, or should I say, that you can go into with your mocks, uh, just because it allows you to control more precisely how people's arms look. Uh, so as I said, this is kind of how I got to know them and how I think a lot of people know them. So this is kind of the main product that I went to their store for, but just briefly, some of the other stuff. I don't know how these fit because they don't fit in regular minifig hands, but these are just foam fingers. Uh, nothing important. These just, these hold in the crazy arms if you want to put them at a separate angle. So I'm not going to do reviews for those since those are just associated with the regular crazy arms. Uh, and then I do have a few other things, so bear with me. I know there's a lot of sorting that you're seeing fly across the screen. So the next thing that I got was a chrome version of a Brick Arms, I believe it's the Luger. So let me put it in a minifig. And once I get it to focus, there you go, as you can see, I think that this will just be kind of fun, you know, to throw on World War II mocks and just pretend that someone had, you know, a chromed out weapon. So I think that's just a little fun. And then I also got these bows. So actually something that you can do, let's see if I can set it up. I don't know if I left, I don't think I left the hand in one of the crazy arms. So here, I'm gonna set up these bows for you. Let's get it to focus so it doesn't look strange while I'm doing this behind the scenes. And I'll show you kind of how crazy arms can be used.
We're almost there, I swear. Bear with me. I don't think I'll cut this out because, you know, it's part of the process, but we're getting there, I promise. So this is obviously very quickly, I didn't do it entirely correctly, but this is the idea that they have with crazy arms is that you can make it, you know, these, their arms go into more realistic positions. Like, you know, see he's pretending to notch back an arrow. Uh, you know, it's just, it adds another layer of dimension uh, to whatever you're trying to do. So those are the bow and arrow along with the use of the normal crazy arm as you could see and then finally i got these books i actually got a third let me put it out here don't really know why but they seemed cool i mean you can open them and then i think that what you would do is you would print something let's see if it'll focus okay it's still not focusing there we go. So you'd print something out, like a sticker, and place it here so that they'd be reading something, and then you could place something on the front, and then you see they stack nicely. But, you know, not anything too impressive. And then I also got some hair pieces. These I'm actually not really pleased with if I don't, you know, being realistic. So here's the first one. Now let's see if it'll focus. There you go. But, okay, so it looks fine on the front. It's supposed to be like an anime hero but then look at this back. I mean, it looks like a helmet in the back. And that, I just think that's unacceptable if you're trying to make a hairpiece. Maybe it's supposed to be covered by a helmet or something. You know what, let's, we can try that because we have all the, obviously it can't fit over there. Uh, and then this other one is kind of cool. It's like an Afro. This one looks obviously much more realistic. You can see, let's see if it will focus. Yeah, see, just much more realistic. But that other hairpiece was, a big letdown, if I'm being honest. But anyways, that is, you know, that's what I got. Uh, in general, you know, some people, or should I say, people always ask at the end of these videos, would you recommend, you know, the company that you're reviewing? Do you think that it's worth it? Hey guys, uh, so just re-recording the outro because there was some audio issues, but essentially... All I really said was, if you're going to go to the Crazy Brick store and get stuff from them, what I would recommend is that you stick exclusively to the Crazy Arm products or some of their specialty headpieces, uh, just because I think that the other stuff isn't necessarily worth it. I know that personally, the skulls are difficult to put on minifig heads and a little difficult to put on studs. It's a very tight fit, so that's unfortunate. And, you know, just some of the other stuff, like the the foam fingers that you see here, they don't fit in a minifig's hands, so I don't really know how you know they intended them to be used. So that's disappointing. Uh, but anyways, I appreciate you guys coming out as always. As I said, I will recommend Crazy Bricks if you want to get crazy arms. That is what I would recommend them for. I would say stick with that because that is your best bet. Uh, so I appreciate you guys coming out. As always, this was an MW Bricks video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> do all the normal stuff. I stopped being able to speak for a second there. Uh, and I'll catch you next time, guys. I appreciate it.